Shookabuggas, welcome back! We are on part number 10 of Let's Play the Sims 4 Black Widow Challenge! Ow! So, a lot of you wanted me to go and take uh, Mrs. Angelica Habana over to go see Naomi to see the little one that she popped out of her, her uh, pixelated, um, you know, whatever the, the other situation is. We're not gonna talk like that. This is supposed to be a, a, a light-hearted, uh, light-hearted channel. No, not really. Like, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm a freaking, I'm a dirty person. <laughs> Just kidding. Hello, my little sugar buggers. Welcome back to the channel. So we are on part number 10 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Black Widow Challenge. So a lot of you wanted me to go ahead and visit Naomi to see the baby. Speaking of babies, uh, Mrs. Angelica Abana just actually had her second daughter. We had Mrs. Tiffany Lucille. Now in case anybody is curious as to why Tiffany is spelled with one F, um, it's simply because I really wanted her middle name Lucille to fit in and the only way to do that was sacrifice a letter and F was the chosen one so what we're gonna do is we are going to get her out of this beautiful ducky nightgown even though I love it and I think it's so cute she definitely needs to get back into her typical black widow attire Jasper on the other hand is feeling very sad he's still mourning the death of his father still kind of regretting his decisions and honestly losing it more than ever I feel like all of my sims have some sort of like twisted mentality it is no surprise I will probably never have a happy ending on my child my, ch my child <laughs> well a uh, happy ending on my channel but you know I mean hey it is what it is I guess <laughs> um okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna breastfeed our little girl just for a little bit um just so she is topped off for the night and feeling um and feeling much better and like at least we're forming some sort of bond with her what I was doing with Mrs. um Roxana I was actually just having her going and, and digging a few things somebody wanted me to kind of give her room a little more of a makeover to make it some like a little more girly or whatever the situation is and to kind of fit her in a since, as I always say like she's a pretty innocent little girl so I think that is something we definitely will do in the future so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna change her into her everyday outfit one of the biggest things that I really do want to get is a cow plant so we're gonna have to go and fish for one of those I know exactly where to get it super duper easy but first because you guys asked for it I am gonna go visit Naomi um, so let's go and do a little bit of traveling. I wish there was cars so bad. Like some people don't understand my desire for a vehicle. Like I'm a huge car enthusiast in real life. If you don't follow me on Instagram, if you don't like ever really watch my stuff, you probably never know that. But like a huge car enthusiast. Like I love my cars so much. Like some people could care less. No, I care a lot. Like, I just love them. I love them. I love them. Like, my mom told me the way that, like, I was driving my car the other day. She's like, the way that you drive your car, seriously, I would not be surprised if you were, like, to become a NASCAR driver. Like, I would totally do that if I could. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know if girls can be NASCAR drivers, which that would be really weird if you couldn't. But I don't really know. I would do it, though. I would. I get, like, seriously, when I go from zero to 30, I get, like, flutters in my heart. <laughs> I get excited when I drive like go-karts and I beat people. I'm like that lady who's like overly aggressive with the go-karts. Like there's like 10 year olds driving and I'm like, ah, just passed you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, it's embarrassing, but I'm that girl. Like I'm that girl. Um, <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Call me weird, but I'm actually flattering Naomi right now. I'm basically telling her she looks great for just having a baby and, you know, sorry, I haven't been able to be around and hang out with you more. There's just been a lot of things going on in my personal life. And she's like, yeah, I can totally attest to that because, you know, me just having my baby is also taking a huge, huge toll on my life as well. And it looks like there was a little, is this a little girl? I don't know. I can't really tell if it's a little girl or a little boy um, because there's no name over the baby at all which is kind of weird so I'm gonna I, I this is so strange I'm just gonna go up and cuddle the child I again I don't know if it's a boy a girl I don't know but I think it'd be really cool if it was a girl just because her and Tiffany could kind of like be best friends and all that kind of stuff who really knows hello Connolly pretending like you don't want these notes because I know you do okay <laughs> 
<laughs> He's staring at me, <laughs> licking your old lips like I'm a Tony Fish sandwich. I know. Mm -hmm. And I did not mean to make that correlation. That was not what I was going for. I could have said anything but, but I had to go for the nastiest thing possible. I'm so sorry. Anyway, hopefully this will get us to be able to know what we are, like what this baby is. Okay, this baby is Alexis. Oh, Alexis Harrington. That is seriously the best name ever for the, like, I could totally see them naming a baby Alexis. Sometimes you get some weird names and you're like, mm, no, don't ever, no, I don't feel it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why is everybody coming in here? Like, you don't trust me with your child? <laughs> you think I'm going to kidnap her or something? Come on, guys. I'm not that low. I swear to you, I'm not that low. Um, well, that's cool. I mean, awesome, right? So, Naomi, when are we going to go out? We should totally go out right now. I think that I'm going to actually invite her out to go to a bar maybe. But I need to get out of this dress. Somebody asked me why. I had Angelica kind of dressing so sophisticated. Da, 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 da. Um, it's really vital for you to watch every pot for you to actually understand the character development of a sim. Otherwise, you're right. This would make no damn sense why she's dressed up like a giant tomato. But um, the reason why is because her current husband or, well, is he almost? Eh, well, I think we were supposed to get married, but like I'm trying to drag it on Crouton. Oh, wait, did we get married? We did get married. Did we? I don't remember. We may have. Do we get engaged? Uh, if we got married and I don't even remember that, that is how much I don't care. Anyway, her current, whatever the situation is, actually, I could probably find out. No, we're roommates, so we're not married yet. Okay, so our current relationship with Jasper, he is very, like, strict about what she wears. And, like, he wants her to, like, live up to the the um idea you know of being like super sophisticated in this image that he's made it's just it's not cute no i get it but and it's not her like this is not how she dresses but uh again she's trying to play the show you know it's like a big it's like a big big opera and you know she's she's the leading lady i, I mean i don't really know how else to put it it's all it's all a facade um but i am gonna get her into something that kind of meets the requirements but also is a little bit more her this suede dress rocks the socks off of my feet i also think it's extremely sexy and i would love to pair it with a nice pretty pair of shoes that match but this color is so unique that you honestly couldn't really find it very many places like in the shoe form, um, ooh, well, that's kind of close, right? I really do love the way that that looks. So basically, I'm getting her into something where she can kind of let her hair down a little bit, be more rebellious and more chill and whatever, um, and not so, how do you say, not so uptight, pretty much, because that's what he's got her like, super duper freaking uptight. Uh, I'm going to put her in some black hair. Gosh, this, honey, people, not everybody, <laughs> Shapes their sideburns. What is this? I don't like that. I love the hair, but like when you go to the side and there's like no sideburn there, it is, it just makes me wonder. Like, what'd you do? Like, did you take a razor and just chop them off? You chopped off your chop. I don't know. Um, but I'll get something else that I feel like also looks really good. This this hairstyle looks really pretty as well. Um, so we'll go with it. It's not exactly. I knew we needed to do another CC shopping video, which I totally totally intent on doing very 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 soon because there's a lot of cool stuff you guys have been sending me on twitter that i cannot wait to go ahead and download um we're gonna use these kylie lip glosses or uh should we use a kylie lip gloss or should we try for something else um here's another one that actually looks really pretty but i'm not gonna lie i kind of like the lip gloss not the not the, i've never actually tried any of the kylie stuff I did want to, but I thought I'm on, I'm on this like one blog on my Facebook and I've seen like a lot of people buying her products and um, they didn't really like them. So if you like the Kylie lip glosses and all that jazz, just let me know in the comments down below. I actually have a Jeffree Star one that I have yet to use. Um, so I need to kind of use that first just to see how I feel about it. But like you can get cheaper liquid matte lipsticks from like ColourPop for like five, six dollars a piece or something like that, maybe even a little bit more. But either way, they're like super duper affordable. I just don't foresee myself spending like thirty dollars for a lip gloss. I don't know. I don't know. That's just me. I'm not hating or anything, but I'm just just saying. Okay, so we kinda I kinda like yes, I know she's like super matchy matchy with the shirt, but I like it. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm also gonna go and check out maybe some sort of eyelash or eyeshadow situation to darken it up like i said we're going for a more playful look 
I like it. I know her husband would hate it. Her husband would be like, or why do I keep trying to call him our husband? I have no freaking idea. I don't know why. Because it's not like I'd be really in real life into that kind of thing. But that's totally fine with me. So let's go ahead and have her um, change into the outfit that I swear I just put you in. And then we're going to go ask Naomi if she would like to go ahead and uh, go out. So I don't like the... Oh, oh, Lord. Okay, these two need to like simmer it down for just a second because I wanted to take her out. I could ask somebody out on a date. I could invite to hang out at a current lot. I'm literally just going to travel with her because I think that is the easiest way to make it happen. And then hopefully she won't like leave me in, in the dust. But um, we do still need to like get the cow plant thing that like absolutely has to happen because you guys have been wanting to see it and I have never killed a sim via cow plant before. So I'm going to go ahead and take a walk on the wild side and see a few places that may be open. Uh, there is the Siren Lounge, which I feel like we may or may not have been there. I definitely would like to add in like another bar or something or like a lounge. Um, so something I haven't done in a really long time is just taking you guys on the gallery. So that's what we're going to go do. I always says connection required. It's like, oh, I am connected. Couldn't I try again. Are you down? Are you down? I don't understand what you're trying to tell me right now. Attempting to connect. Well, it looks like you're pretty freaking connected. Oh, Lord. Don't tell me this is going to be an issue. Okay. Well, we're just going to sit here and uh, we're just going to wait. That's what we're going to do for like two seconds. Otherwise, we're going to have to like go and figure this out. I think I've gotten stuck on here once. Oh, my gosh. All right. What do you say? Should we give up? Ugh, gross. Okay. Um, could not connect. Obviously, you told me that like 500 times. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just have to make it work with what we have. There's Windenburg. There's Magnolia Promenade. There's Newcrest. I think think there's a bur there's cafe de dulce <sighs> all right so going to the siren lounge oh yes the springs is there anything here i think i just was there right rattlesnake lounge we've been there like a million times uh the solar flare i haven't been to the solar flare in a while and so we'll just go there it's a lounge it's pretty chill um she just did she just had the baby so i don't really know if she's like super i mean we both just had our kids so i don't know how like eager we are to like get her drink on but I'm totally down to get a couple of cocktails in and um, hang out with her just for a little bit. The baby is really, really cute. I'm really excited to see that she has a girl, like I said, because then maybe we could like have our girls be best friends in the future. That sort of deal. Ooh, who's this guy? Oh my goodness. His name is Marco and he's an entertainer. I'm actually going to come up here and pretend like I am so... So, just uh, beside myself. Like, he's kind of cute, though. So, I'm actually going to uh, hire a comedian. Then what are you? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to his performance. Or I'm going to have Naomi also watch his performance with me. And we're going to see how well he does. He is a really cute dude. He is, he is a little bit older um, than Angelica. But I see him giving me the oogly googly boogly eyes. And I definitely want to get to know this man just a little bit more. <laughs> Perhaps more what's underneath that bow tie, but Naomi seems to be really interested in his little his little spiel here. Actually, quite a few people um, that are that are here right now. One person I totally want to like get in with is the Bergeson family. I I guess I could try to become better friends with this hoe bag, and then like you know whatever. Um, <laughs> but uh, let's go and flatter her just a little bit. You know we're trying to rub elbows, schmooze, if you will. Um, more or less, definitely more interested in getting to know her husband, if that's okay. I'm going to get to know him a little bit. I'm also going to go ahead and, uh, let's see here. Uh, romance. No, I wasn't really planning on being romantic with you, but I mean, that's okay. Can I get to know this guy too? What is this? Watch performance. What if I don't really want to watch your performance anymore? What if I'd rather you stop and then like, you know, I get to know you? Um, do I get to know him from watching his performance? I think that I actually may have. Look at all of these people that we know, seriously. Hmm, and this guy. I wonder if there, you know, a lot of you guys have given me some serious theories about him. And don't worry, we'll get into that part a little bit later. Um, but, uh, just think of it as an onion and each part we slowly unravel, unravel the, the core. Um, 
But I, I think your theories about him are probably pretty spot on. I wonder when this guy is going to stop telling his horrible jokes and I'm actually able to talk to him. So let's go over here and grab ourselves a drink. I'm actually going to go ahead and order drinks for group. I'm going to get myself something ultra, ultra expensive. I'm going to go ahead and get myself a sour punch because literally that is what I'm going to do to Jasper. I'm going to sour punch him right in the cuda, even though he doesn't have one, but that's okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're going to, we're going to make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and order one of those. Um, I don't know how much it's going to cost. Every time it says like buy around, um, does this say Frederick Lamar? I totally thought it did, but every time it says like buy around, you only get like a drink which I think is so stupid. So as long as it comes to 107, I'm totally okay with that. But I have like this really big feeling that it's not going to come to 107. Like it's going to come to a lot more. I hope that it actually works for once because, you know, when you say order drinks for group, it should be like more than one drink. And he's like still not even making it. Okay, it's taking him forever to make this drink. See, I only got one. Ugh, rude. Okay. Fine. Um, well, I'll order a drink then. See, order drinks. Ks, ks. Like, there is more than one, but for whatever reason, I'm only getting one drink. That is so strange. And it doesn't even look like I'm getting charged for these drinks. I Oh, I was. I did. And uh, just getting started. Play The Sims 4 for five hours. We have played Black Widow for five hours, which is perfect, and it makes sense because it's the tenth part. So, like, half an hour apart. Hey, if anybody touches my freaking drink, I will literally break your fingers. What is this? A sour punch? Oh. 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 <laughs> he did make two. <laughs> Oops. Attempt to swipe. <gasps> you can actually steal people's drinks. Hold on. Hold on, Hoochie Mama. You ain't nothing but a Hoochie Mama. No, I want it. No, you take my drink. I'll break your fingers. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see her steal this drink. I mean, how do you steal somebody else's? No! She better not. Oh, I can actually take somebody's drink. That is so freaking amazing. No, I'm taking this. I want this drink. Hold on. Let's try. I can't drink. I can't steal it. Okay, what about this one? Let's try to steal this drink. That is so freaking messed up. I will be laughing so hard if she actually steals it. No, she did. Did she? Did she? Oh, she couldn't steal it? What's going on? <gasps> Are you laughing at me? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This girl is judging me. And Helica is a kleptomatic symbol. I'm just going to drink it then. It says attempt to swipe. Recently got caught. So because I tried to steal a drink, I literally got caught. But because I just grabbed it, I didn't get caught at all. That is so funny how I you can get that. I mean, you might as well not even try to steal anything. Just drink the damn stuff. So I'm definitely feeling a little bit tipsy, a little bit buzzed. I kind of want to call my boo thing. Um, and by boo thing, I mean Benjamin, who we recently got tipped off by with this girl. Don't worry. I may not necessarily know that she's the one who narked on us, but I'm about to find out. And trust me. All of a sudden, she might play a very serious disappearing act. I don't like her. I don't like her. But I have a big, 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 big grudge against her. And I feel like she thinks she's smart and she's, like, so cunning and, like, she doesn't, you know, whatever. And if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, um, Angelica was recently narked on about spending time with Benjamin by this chick who now she, like, obviously has a huge vendetta against and wants to, like, get back at her and what other way to get back at her than probably stealing her husband who who isn't here right now interesting so actually what i'm going to do <laughs> um is i'm going to just kind of scan really quick and make sure he's not there okay and instead of going to get that cow plant i'm actually going to take a little bit of a travel i'm gonna leave naomi behind no big deal i'm actually gonna go visit the Bergenson household right now because Clara wanted to stick her little nose, her big old schnozzle, where it didn't belong. And now I'm about to go, uh, <laughs> I'm about to go, um, I don't know. I'm about to stick my schnozzle where it doesn't belong. So let me go and find where they currently live at. I can't honestly remember where their house is because I am like, Okay, so they live here, and like I said, she's obviously not there, but it looks like the kids are home, which obviously I'm not trying to, like, um, okay, un unavailable while traveling, travel with Piper, oh, okay, oh, got you, okay, so, 
we're gonna go and visit his house and um we're gonna just what, what's our excuse like oh your wife left her cell phone or something like what am i supposed to say hey it's late like <laughs> late night plumbing call like i don't know Ooh, even better he's outside don't know what he's doing outside but maybe he's doing his like nightly yoga routine or waiting for his wife i'm actually gonna come over here and start flirting with him i don't know if it's gonna go well but i'm definitely willing to give it a try uh just because like i said i kind of hate her right now so I'm going to be romantic. I'm going to actually um, compliment his appearance in just a minute. Um, I'm going to compliment his outfits. I'm going to very lightly compliment his appearance just to see how I can test the waters because, my God, this house is nice. I hope he actually takes it this well. I don't know. He seems like a guy who would be very... Um, I don't know, very flattered by my advances. I mean, how could you not? Not gonna lie. Angelica's many things, but one thing she is, isn't stupid. She knows that she's got it. And when she's got it, she gonna flaunt it. So bad that Mr. <clears throat> Bajorn is going to want it. All right, all right. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and uh, flirt with him a little bit more, just a little. You know, I'm gonna try to like tip the, tip the, the oh, hell no, hell no. She here, she here. <gasps> Okay, can you let me inside your house? Is that okay? Is that is that weird? I want to come inside. Can I knock? Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, you want me to come sit down with you? Where's your daughter's? <gasps> okay, I think they're sleeping. I'm not sure. There she is. Oh my god, this house is so nice. Oh, um, I'm just gonna go sit on the couch with him if that's okay. Uh, really quick. My husband's actually calling me right now. All right, guys, so I'm not exactly sure where we left off in this whole entire shindig slash ordeal because my husband came home and he had to get ready to go to suck. But we're back and everything was going pretty freaking well. Um, I was actually trying to have the two kind of, you know, be romantic off screen for a little bit just to get that romantic um, interest bar kind of popped up there. But unfortunately, as I said, everything was going great until -na 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 -na. Um, <laughs> until Mrs. Sophia Bergeson apparently heard a little ruckus going in on in the living room and decided to come and investigate. So briefly, instead of being flirtatious with the man, I've decided that I probably have overstayed my welcome. I'm actually going to go ahead and head out super duper awkward to have like a teenage girl come sit like right next to you kind of knowing the situation and kind of questioning what dad is doing I have a feeling though this is not her dad's first rodeo so I mean I'm not saying he's a cheetah <laughs> I ain't saying he's a gold digger but he ain't messing with no broke bro no he's definitely been around the block a few times but that is not my, um, you know, my my problem. I don't really care. I'm actually just going to go home and crawl into bed and pray that Jasper hasn't noticed that it's like 4 o'clock in the morning um, when I come home. But I have a big idea that he's going to know. Um, he's going to be freaking furious if he is awake when we get there. Just because he already, like, feels, and especially because of what Clara has kind of instilled in him, that, you know, um, Angel's cheating. But, again, he doesn't have any, like, actual solid proof. And the guy is, like, way too proud to admit such a thing. Like, to admit that a girl has gotten the best of him. So, he's probably not going to say anything. And it looks like he's not waiting outside for us. So, there may be a really good possibility that we can just kind of sneak on in. But it appears that everybody is wide awake. Um, He's actually on the john right now. So, do avoid any conflict. I'm going to run up and just fly underneath the sheets it's actually what i was trying to do at the other house but it didn't work so well i'm actually gonna have um little sis over here go ahead and crawl into her bed as well i'm actually gonna leave the baby and i know this is so messed up i'm gonna put the baby outside the door just because i don't want um her to wake up and keep waking up roxanne and then Jasper's actually going to come into the room. He's going to go to sleep as well. He's not going to mention anything to her. He's actually at the point where I think he's kind of decided to overlook and turn his shoulder. Um, and not really pay attention so much to what she's doing, but rather get proof instead. I'm actually going to have him get up and he is going to go ahead and change and bottle feed Mrs. Tiffany here. By the way, Tiffany was named after Tiffany's, like, you know, the jewelry brand that used to be really popular in the early 2000s. I don't really think people like really like Tiffany's that much. I mean, I know that they do and people obviously still buy it like hello. 
but I don't think it's as popular as it once was, at least when I was growing up and, like, a teenager and stuff. Like, it was so cool to have, like, the bracelet and the matching necklace and, you know, the, the juicy track sh- shoe, bleh, the, ju- ah! <laughs> the juicy track suits and, like, the juicy couture bags and um, that was my thing. Now it's, like, Victoria's Secret track suits. No, we had bougie taste, let me tell you. No, it really was the most dumbest thing, paying, like, over $100, $200 for a freaking juicy track suit that was like the basic bish days like literally that was that was my equal um basicness and uggs that was very basic then too and it still is i love uggs though like i'm not saying just because it's basic it's bad hell no <laughs> i love uggs i would still rock a juicy track suit if i didn't look like i was a chewed a piece of bubble gum and i do stop my juicy couture bags holla <laughs> but yeah Anyway, Jasper's actually getting ready to probably go to work. He goes to work in about two hours. He needs to um, do some romantic interactions for whatever reason. Um, So he's actually going to try to wake up Miss Rossi and uh, be romantic with her, which is very weird because I would think he would be just extremely furious with her behavior. It's completely unacceptable, and he would never, like, be able to fathom why she would do such a horrible thing to such a fabulous young man. But um, it's not, like I said, I feel like he's got a plan I don't know if I'm right wrong indifferent but I do feel like he has a plan so I'm actually gonna have him be romantic woohoo with her maybe this will be just enough to tip the scales so that uh get 25 percent done is that how it is is that how it is Angelica you're like counting until he's like that's so gross but anyway I'm gonna actually let him go ahead and go to work I'm not gonna go with him or anything quite like that it looks like um Tiffany is up screaming and crying again we need to go ahead and breastfeed her we're gonna rock her and also cuddle her as well I loved your guys's theories by the way like loved your guys's theories about why you think Angelica is so distant from her children and I do think it is pretty freaking obvious as well um Bajord Bergeson has uh congratulated us congratulated us on the new addition to the family which is really sweet and this baby keeps crying and she's like not even happy right now I don't know what her problem is but like literally this is like the world's most fussiest child and Angelica is about to throw off a balcony like I know that is the most horrible thing to say ever but I really do feel like she feels like that right about now. Like, this baby just legitimately will not stop crying. Like, won't stop. I mean, it's a baby. I get it. They're going to cry. But uh, she's kind of losing her patience right now. (laughs) Um, So hopefully she can get her to to calm down and it looks like she's she's not fussing as much but like I said earlier one of the things I really wanted to do was get over to the um lake and uh be able to um try to get that cow plant before we go ahead and end this part here so that's what we're gonna just speed on through and do really really quick if we can stand all a part of the job getting to seduce the most attractive informants <gasps> isn't the worst part of Jasper's job during one of the particular um his spy Oh my god. <gasps> Should his counter Okay, wait a second. Okay, I had to read that like privately. So getting to seduce the most attractive informants isn't the worst part of Jasper's job. Hmm. But during one of his particular amorous evening, his spy phone begins to buzz. To distract his target, should he counter with some whispered suggestions into his target's ear or should or try to slyly turn off the phone. We're going to have him cover with noise. My curiosity is who is this um, informant that he's being extremely romantic with? I wonder. So, slick move. The informant is very excited to be with Jasper and gives up some great intel. A lot of you were saying he is a spy. He is a double diamond agent, right? He obviously has some sort of um, history and background with finding out things. His suspicion is totally on target when it comes to Angelica. I actually feel like almost like it's some sort of like secret game that none of them are willing to admit. I do believe that Jasper is trying to find intel and trying to find out who this mysterious woman is all about because she is a very, very questionable character. So somebody had mentioned, you know, since he is a, um, since he is a uh, secret agent that should be also one of the things that he does is he's looking into her and she doesn't know that he's a secret agent she just knows that he 
has a good job that pays well. Like, that's all that it really is. Like, there are some secretive parts about her, about Jasper, that she doesn't necessarily know. Hopefully, he doesn't dig up some old bones that shouldn't be dug up because that could get a little sticky a little later on. But we'll have to see how that all progresses and continues. But I just wanted to, like, throw that out there. So I'm kind of curious to see who's the lady that he was kind of making moves on. Doesn't actually show up as to anybody who he could possibly have been seducing. But then again, I really don't know. Um, my theory, it could be Jade, actually. Could have been somebody he was... Um, kind of trying to get some intel from, which is very odd. So I do understand that Tiffany's crying, but being on Helica, she's actually just going to go ahead and have the babysitter come and take care of Tiffany for a little bit while she goes while she can and go and finds the cow plant berry, I hope. Um, so we can go ahead and plant that beast in the backyard. The only place that I know for sure, like I can go ahead and find one of those. I have the hiccups. It's actually in the desert bloom. There's like a little, um, a little like lake or pond or whatever kind of towards the back that often harbors the cow plant berry. Um, that's at least the place that I've found the best luck when it comes to that. But if you guys know of some places that we can actually find them, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, we'll just go ahead and try the one place that I actually know how to um, snag these. We definitely actually should have uh, put her in her regular outfit because if Jasper saw her wearing this, he would probably freaking freak out. So where I'm speaking of is I do believe um, it's actually back here or back there. So I think either of those places you can find them. But I'm just going to speed through really quick and have her fish all the way towards the back here amongst, um, what's his face, Kareem. So Angelica's new fishing skill allows her to catch fish and mount them on the wall or keep them in a fish bowl. Um, it looks like somebody has downloaded Sultan Square, but we're getting um, no luck as of yet. We did catch a box and we just caught a cow plant berry. How freaking easy was that? Super duper duper easy. Did we just catch another one? I would die. I would die. We just caught two. I told you guys, this is like the best place to get yourself a cow plant berry. Like we haven't caught anything other than a cow plant berry. Um, am I getting another one? Oh my God. This is ridiculously easy. Oh, we just got a freaking string of Daria's violin. Oh my God. Okay. One more catch. Like seriously, we're getting some good stuff. Um, Roxana has just got it. Oh, <gasps> Neil Hollingsworth back in the flesh. Hey, Angelica, it's me, Neil. Do you want to go out on a date with me? Absolutely, freaking lootly big boy. <laughs> The Siren Lounge. Okay, so we just got asked to go out on a, another date with Neil Hollingsworth, which is, you know, probably not the most, um, the most smart idea, I guess you could say, like the smartest idea that we've ever come up with, but I'm definitely interested in seeing what this man is all about. I do believe this is possibly where I met him. I don't know. I can't really remember, but I find it very, um, very ironic that he is trying really, really hard with her now, which kind of cracks me up a little bit because... You know, it's like funny. He didn't want anything to do with me, but now that he's seen that I'm happy and I've moved on, and yeah, I may have given him a little glimmer of hope. He's really um, trying to crawl back into my arms and more, more, more obviously my bed. Um, so who really knows where this whole relationship thing could go? I wish there was like a closet or something up here so that we could have like a little bit of fun. Who says that we should go ahead and add one in? I think that we should. We're going to actually add in like an old closet and I'm going to let them go ahead and do what it do. Um, let's go ahead and pick up one of these guys. I think this one would probably fit the bill the most. It's just going to be like in a really old closet that's just kind of sitting in here, um, in the building. I don't actually know where to put it though. So that's a little um, interesting. We're actually going to go put it over here. There's no lights or anything, so it's going to be pretty dark. But I might have to put in a couple lights just so we can see what's happening. Um, I'm actually going to put the... I'm going to do like um, kind of like a... Not a basement, but like an attic sort of theme. So I'll go with like some uh, brick or whatever. And then I'm just going to grab a couple of these lights so that I can hop into the light section and just pick up something a little more dodgy and gloomy. So nothing too expensive, but something you'd probably see up in an attic. Um, so like these lights here, or I was thinking of maybe these ones. We'll do that instead. 
Okay, so I'm gonna see if we can come up here together. And I don't know if this is why he wanted to hang out with me, but this is why I'm certainly gonna hang out with him. I mean, I've gotta keep him on a pretty tight leash, I would say. Um, you know, I definitely don't want him to stray too far away. All right, it's almost Tiffany's birthday. Interesting, so she should actually probably age her up. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to go ahead and woohoo with Neil Hollingsworth, which is really interesting because I never thought we'd be back in this place, especially after the fallout that we had. But I have a feeling that this is honestly the only reason he's ever wanted to meet with me again, and I'm definitely going to play my cards correctly, and I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna let him have it, so. Let's go ahead and uh, let these two do what it do. I'm gonna try to like get a good picture here. <laughs> this is definitely, he just, he seems really like awkward. I don't know why, but he just definitely seems like not a guy that she would have been, I don't know, into maybe? I don't know, but we'll see. We'll have to, we'll have to play our cards right and see how it goes. Oh my God, he's like all over her. He's like eating her face. <gasps> Ow, I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. Pretty steamy, right? All right, so I'm going to let those two be and do what I do here. There's some serious scandals happening. I mean, she is literally like the ultimate homewrecker between Bajorn and Neil. I can't wait to see everything kind of fall down. <gasps> wait, what? 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 You look like you're having a good time, Jasper. I think you meant to say me. But I clicked him. That's awkward. <laughs> I don't think he meant to say that. But yeah, no, I'm having a great time. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a little passionate kiss. This was definitely a secret rendezvous. This date just keeps getting better and better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kiss him. I'm just going to basically basically schmooze the living hell out of him. Um, definitely thinking he's ready to leave his wife. And he keeps asking, like, just leave Jasper and come with me. Just leave Jasper and come with me. You know, like, you and I could be happy together. You know, I'm ready to leave her. I'm ready to, I'm ready to be with you and all this kind of crazy stuff. This girl is extremely cute. Oh, my goodness. Um, like, really cute. Like, super cute. Anyway, I'm going to just probably end up leaving the date. Um, she actually wants to woohoo again. So I'm going to go ahead and let them have a round two. She has woohooed so much today. It's actually pretty much insane. So what I'm going to do is in the next part, I'll have her take a pregnancy test. I do have risky woohoo mod installed. <gasps> and speak of the Diablo, look who's here. Single and ready to mingle. I'm actually really excited with how down and dirty this girl's getting. She's got so many relationships lined up and she is literally playing these men like video games. Um, but I want to come down and also um, try to like be a little romantic with him. I'm actually going to go ahead and compliment his appearance since I am feeling extremely romantic. As long as Neil doesn't come down and uh, try to start some problems. But I feel like I'm going to try to lay it on thick with him and see how that goes. I don't know. This is literally a shot in the dark. Like, she's feeling all sorts of hot and steamy. Did you just tell Monomer, like, to go screw himself? Oh, my God. Oops. I just, ooh, I think I just made him jealous. I think I just made him jealous. Ah! He might have saw that and got a little pissed off. All right. Um, well, I guess this is goodbye. Don't call me ever. I always get that, like, um, that weird, not interaction, but I always get that weird default. Like, I'm pretty sure they had an amazing date, but whatever. Well, in the next part, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let, let uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if she's pregnant, which it could be a very big possibility. I don't know. You guys will just have to see. I mean, she's had woohoo so many freaking times. It'd be really fun to see who it is. But either way, we will definitely go ahead and age up Tiffany. We will plant the cow plant and you guys can let me know um, what your theory is and where else we should go with this story because definitely got a lot of cards that we could go ahead and play. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.